Good morning. My God, I slept a lot last night. Today I'm going to a city in Korea I've never been before. Busan. I heard it's awesome. I heard it's got some great food. And it's really exciting because I'm riding the high-speed rail there. So a lot of new experiences today. Let's go. Whoa, this is interesting. I've never seen a cab that's foreigners only. Welcome to Seoul Station. I love going on trains in different countries. So, so far, I went on the high-speed train in Taiwan, in Japan, and now Korea. But before I get on this train, I, I need some essentials. Now, the essentials I'm talking about is you gotta get some lunch boxes. This whole roll, the one at the far, far side over there is Japanese, and there's Korean, and there's a noodle one. And, and this is a dessert one. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. It has a lot of kimbap and just like noodles. Really caught my eye. This is a lot of Korean, um, Korean foods. And look at this. Look at the size of these rice balls. That's massive. I thought they just like shipped this from somewhere, but they actually cook everything. That's pretty cool. Overdone on the food a little bit. So I got all that and, 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 and this monster. It's not a first class, just a regular class seat. We got plugs. A little footstool. Okay, it doesn't really lean back. Still, lots of space. On the high speed train to Busan. Three hour train ride. I need a lunch box for every single hour, so three lunch boxes. This one is like a massive rice ball, and inside it looks like, uh, I don't know, I think it's some kind of kimchi or it looks like some kind of meats inside. Inside is pork, really spicy. Mm. Really flavorful, but the rice itself, even just eating that, that's really good. The other ones are different flavor. This one is just a pure rice ball. This one. Oh, right, this one has kimchi inside. Oh, so these are different, different flavors of rice balls. Tons of kimchi on the inside. Mmm. Wow. Man, this is really good. The rice, first of all, not overly sticky. It has such a fragrant flavor from the seaweed. No way did I ever imagine it would be as flavorful as this. Because there's so much rice, I didn't see much filling, so I figured this thing is kind of dry, kind of, kind of under seasoned. Not at all. Oh, awesome. So it's all kind of mixed together now. I think you can just kind of, just kind of, kind of like mix this all together, like kind of like dried rice. Maybe add a little kimchi to that. I love this thing. Love it. it. Exceeded all my expectations. This next dish is massive. Just a ton of bulgogi. And I got this because they said that the bulgogi is actually from a really famous bulgogi place um, in Seoul. And it's actually cooked fresh. I mean, it's been sitting out a little bit, so it doesn't look like it, but it's cooked fresh like right before I bought it. Mm. It's a little dry, again, because it's been sitting out a little bit. The flavor of this bulgogi. This might just sound really insane. It might be the best flavored bulgogi I've ever had. I wish I ate this first, like as soon as I got it, because if I did, I think this would be even more amazing. But the meat's a little sweet, just wonderfully smoky. It's fatty, it's saucy, it actually goes perfect with the rice. I don't know what this is. It's a shrimp ball. It's pretty amazing because, again, it's been sitting out for a little bit. It's still really crispy on the outside. It's good. It's a bit oily for me. Yeah. Let me just go back to the bulgogi. A little bunch on here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this pickled cabbage is awesome. You hear the crunch? Ooh, a little sweet, a little sour. Mm. This dry radish is insane. Oh, it's so spicy. A little sweet. You guys heard that crunch, right? And it's so 
looks like uh, some kind of beans, marinated beans. Not the biggest fan of that. This is really fun. Check this out. This is a bimbimbap, and you lift it, and there's rice and seaweed on the bottom. Basically, then what you do is you take this whole thing, you dump it in here, and mix it up, and there's your bimbimbap. Pork, spinach, carrots, mushrooms, little fungi, radish, Greens, kimchi, and sauce. Just mix it, give everything a good toss. Just get a spoon, dig deep. Everything is fresh. Sauce is good, a little spicy, a little sweet. Every bite, I just have a bunch of different textures. I actually love these lunch boxes more than I did the ones in Japan. I had them in Japan, I honestly didn't think they were that good, but every single thing I got here, off the charts, really, really awesome. So far, this high-speed training experience, top-notch, beautiful food, beautiful scenery, comfortable seat. So, I'm gonna finish one lunch box an hour, and that's the plan. It's going to be a nice ride. See you in Busan. I'm um, staying at the Loti Hotel, you know, that supermarket. I didn't know they had hotels. So, a little bit of drama. I left my backpack on the train. <sighs> I guess if you don't see some videos, that's why. It's all my camera equipment and my laptop's on there. I'm trying to find it. Okay, I, I love Korea. I love Koreans. They found my bag and it's, it's fine. So I just gotta go back and pick it up. That would have been really bad. All my camera, my laptop, everything's in there. That would have not been so good. Oh, thank you, wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you, what a beautiful view. Look at that. It's pretty cool, look at this. Never seen this before. So, you can actually have fresh air from the outside. Big room, double beds. Love, love this view. I think the sunset's gonna be awesome from here. Some hills. I think that's a really cool, uh, culturally significant neighborhood. Emergency button in case, you know, someone attacks you. Bathroom, automatic toilet, always welcome. I did not know like multi made hotels, but this is a really nice, it's supposed to be a five-star hotel. There's a casino attached to this place, as well as a Loti store. Ooh, just had the spiciest fish broth and fish cake at this place here. Oh, that's good. Look for that guy. Oh, that's awesome. I'm feeling so good right now. You know, now it's just kind of sizzling in this tinfoil. They wrapped it up, forming just like this little little, little tinfoil oven thing. So everything's just getting grilled and baked right now. And right now, in this version I'm having is the salted version. So there's no spices, nothing really, it's just salted. I'm filming um, the video at uh, the uh, Hyundai market here in Busan and one of the things you have to get is eel um, and I got some eel and it's being cooked right now in this tinfoil thing and uh, oh my god it was oh, the eel was well, they skinned the eel but the eel was still alive and it's sitting on this hot plate and it's just squig like just moving around like crazy all I gotta say is do not reincarnate as a eel. That's really important. This is actually a hagfish. Apparently the difference is hagfish has no bones, it has no eyes, so you can just eat this without any like any fear of bones getting a bone stuck in your throat or anything. And it lives in the ocean way deeper than the eel. And this is ready to eat right now. Um, and they cooked it with a little bit of onions, a little bit of chili, scallions. Man, I just can't get that vision of this thing swiggling around out of my head. Wow, that first bite of uh, hagfish, I did not expect that whole thing to kind of taste like a cartilage, like a crunchy cartilage. 
that shocked me a little bit. Um, actually, the flavor is pretty good. I think for me, it's like a psychological thing. Man, it's just seeing it all twisting on, on the hot plate. I think it tastes pretty good. I don't think I'll ever like, you know, crave it, but it's good. Last full day in Busan. Stop by for some pastries for breakfast before the real food begins. Tiramisu croissant and whatever this is, like a circly crop circle looking thing. So on top, ooh, really soft cream. Mmm, yum. I'm just gonna cut a piece. There we go. So, the tiramisu stuff I think is on the top here. It literally tastes like eating a chocolate covered croissant. A really good chocolate covered croissant with a tiramisu sitting on top of it. Look at this thing. This thing is all sorts of flaky. Oh my good lord, look at that. It's buttery, really sweet, really flaky. I think I like my croissant better. Oh, hang on a second. Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> that was deliciously satisfying. Here it is, my box of seafood. This is just glorious. Lobster, never had this before, but this is called fan shrimp with good reason, I guess. Clams, prawns, oysters. Oh, just beautiful. This guy's not feeling very well. Oh, 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 that's, oh, you, you weren't feeling well at all, were you? <laughs> he pooped. I, I, now I'm gonna eat, this is just so. Uh, Like a little mochi, like a mochi bun thing. Like right, sweet matcha inside. I thought that was a lot of fun. Thank yeah. you. This is way bigger than Dominic Ansel and uh, way cheaper. It's s'more ice cream. It doesn't taste as good though. Actually, I don't know, about the same. I saw a guy selling fireworks. Then I walk on a beach. He says, go shoot on the beach. So I'm on the beach and I see the sign says, no fireworks. So I go back, I'm like, hey, there's no fireworks. And he says, no, it's okay, just go ahead and shoot it. And he says he's gonna take responsibility if I get caught or I get fined. Um, so I'm gonna go shoot it, and let's see what happens. There we go, there we go. Shoot it into the ocean. Is it defective? Oh, here we go. Whoa, here we go. How you can? I wish there was some dragon for me to fight right now because I was just shoot the heck out of it. I was right. We didn't get in trouble. Um, so I guess you can light fireworks or maybe there's no cops around. I don't know. But fireworks have been lit. A lot of fun was had. I think it's now it's time for more food. That was a fun night at the beach and uh, it is absolutely freezing. But I know a solution to all this. Gotta have another taste of this soup. This is why it's so fiery. Look at all the chili that's in here. Wow. Oh, oh, look at that. She's adding even more heat in this. Oh, nice. The spicier the better, I always say. So, let me get, let me get some of that this nice broth. <laughs> this is some of the best broth I've had. It, I've had this time in Korea. It's so awesome. Half a cup. I'm warmed up. I feel good enough to go swimming in the ocean right now. But I think next up. Let's go get some steak. I'm still thinking about that broth and how good it was. Why, why can't that be like a hot pot broth? That would just be amazing. So this is the place my cab driver told me that I must go to while here in Busan. And they serve hangul, which of course is Korean beef. 
And check this out. They only have a three. They only have three items on their menu. Fresh beef ribs, spicy beef ribs, and bulgogi. And it's 6:30, and this is already sold out. So only thing they have is spicy beef ribs. But I guess lucky for me, they told me that's actually what they're known for. And the wait right now is 50 minutes. I mean, you can tell this is a really popular place. Um, the entrance, the building looks really traditional. By the way, uh, this restaurant is called Female Cow. It's all, all cow girls. Uh, I don't know. Finally, my turn. After about an hour and a half of wait, the is full of smoke, so I get to smell like hummu for a while. Score. Actually, I'm really happy about that. Seriously, I, this is this is a great scent for me. It is. The fire is here. Get nice and toasty. Some beautiful banchan. Oh, the meat is here. Go. The grill, you see the shape of the grill, like all the grease is gonna, it's just gonna form at the bottom. And there's wood charcoal on the inside. Look at the fat on this piece of beef here. Look at this. See all this juice just squeezing out of it? Right there? Look at it. Look at it squeezing it. You guys see this? Oh my good lord, it's like a fatty waterfall. And they separate this so it cooks like in minutes. So she's taking the meat off my grill because something else spectacular is gonna go on. Not as spectacular as the meat itself, but some noodles and soy sauce is going on the grill. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Oh, look, look into that sizzle. Oh, so basically the soy sauce is, is mixing in with the fat dripping from the ribs itself and the noodles being cooked and all that beautiful mommy meaty elixir. My flight leaves in a couple hours. Uh, luckily, the basement of my hotel has a bunch of food stuff. So, fried chicken for breakfast. Four dollars only bought me three pieces. So, kind of expensive fried chicken. Not bad. Not great. Nice breakfast. Come some of that. Oh yeah, look at that. The noodle has fried tofu floating around, eggs, seaweed, and this noodle shop is supposed to have been around for over 130 years. Wow. It's supposed to be handmade noodles. The broth is nice and mild. Mmm. I like the texture of these thin noodles. Although they're really thin, they're quite chewy. Bulgogi looks nice. Mm. Tender and smoky. Mm. The soup definitely needs more chili. Mmm. Much, much better. Make a little sam with the bulgogi. So use the noodles as lettuce, sort of. Awesome. We've got these dumplings too. I think there's a kim massive kimchi dumpling. Korean dumplings, love it. Mm, I love it. Man, that crunch got to me. That crunch and the spiciness got to me. This is excellent. A lot of Korean dumplings, I feel that meat is minced so finely that it becomes almost like a paste. So that texture I'm not really used to. But this, this kimchi, it's got a nice crunch, got a nice bite. That was really good. I'm gonna dip it in the soup a little bit. Oh yeah, there you go. That was a kimchi soup dumpling. Never had a dumpling with a shrimp tail sticking out of it. There's shrimp on the inside. I don't love this dumpling. It's too sweet. Last meal in Korea. A bit sad, but I've been on a roll for so long, I really, really want to be home right now. See you at the airport.
I am flying Japan Airlines economy. I'm stuck in the middle seat from here to Japan, but thankfully got an aisle seat all the way back to New York. Every time I travel through Japan, I just get this aching feeling like I want to stay because I love this place so much. I'm gonna be back real soon. I think this is Sakura Matcha Kit Kat. It's also dinner. It smells like spring. Matcha and Sakura. That's a good Kit Kat. Hmm. They weren't joking. This actually does have a really calming aroma. I love Japanese snacks. And it's seriously, I'm the best stuff in the world. This is me. At least I got an aisle seat. I feel like Japanese airlines, they give you more food items. There's a lot of these little mini food items. I don't know what this is. I think it's some kind of dessert. A little uh, pudding cup salad. Some preserved veggies and mushrooms. Um, some greens and eggs, I think. The beef kind of looks like some sort of beef paste. And then there's some pickle veggies and mushrooms and eggs and rice. That tastes way better than it looks. That beef is actually quite delicious. Some kind of pudding looking thing. Kind of like a really crumbly creme brulee. That's pretty good. This has definitely been one of the most enjoyable economy class meals I've had. That's why I love Japanese airlines. I really like this Sheridan Hotel because it always reminds me of uh, kind of like going into a museum. Guys, you have no idea how good it feels to be back in New York. Wow, this is probably my longest trip that I've ever taken in my life. And I wish I could go home tonight, but I'm filming with the Food Network tomorrow here in Flushing, so I'm gonna stay the night here, uh, film tomorrow, and then head back tomorrow night. And I just wanna say, I flew a lot of airlines on this trip, EVA, AirAsia, um, Japan Airlines. I feel like, although Japan Airlines planes are, are really old, it seems like every time I fly them, but their service and food is just fantastic. Like, even though I'm sitting in the economy, I could feel how nice they were, how helpful the flight attendants were, which is kind of a contrast to Eva Airlines, where you kind of feel like their flight attendants were, were kind of mean. Eva's food wasn't that good, although their planes are nice. So if you had to choose between a Japanese airline like ANA or JAL, I would definitely choose that over a Taiwan airline. Also, AirAsia, I mean, it's a discount airline. What do you expect? It's, it's cheap. But I feel like their flight attendants are all pretty good. Now that I'm back, it's about 8 o'clock at night. I, I gotta go grab some food and, and then it's off to bed because I I slept like one hour on the plane. Let's go see what we can find to eat. Really feeling like some dry hot pot tonight. Looks good, a lot of meat, a lot of tofu, and I got a pork bun. This thing from this place, um, when it's good, it's really good. But sometimes it's just really bad. When it's good, I say this is the best pork bun in New York City. Let's see how it is today. I mean, it looks good. It's okay today. It's really good when the outside is nice and crunchy. This time, it is not. But flavor is still good. Still one of the best pork buns in the city. I needed something like this tonight. Something a little spicy, a little saucy that goes well with rice. I dip my pork burger. Some of that hot oil here. Oh, look at that. Mm. Now I gotta get some sleep and tomorrow, yeah, it's the Food Network shoot. It's gonna be pretty fun. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I love pizza for breakfast. Good New York pizza. Mm. I'm about to be on a show called Brooklyn Man. Uh, it's on Food Network Europe, so I'm gonna meet some people a dumpling galaxy. And then we're gonna eat some noodles. We just started down filming Brooklyn Man. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Man number Brooklyn six Man. with this guy, Mike. Number one origins guy for the Chinese cuisine. I'm very impressed. I eat in more than 10,000 restaurants around the world. This guy is my man. Yes! That's a compliment. Yeah, go eat at this guy's restaurant. I'm going to I'm gonna go check out your restaurant. Very soon. <laughs> Alright. Okay.
Please, thank you. Never so excited to see my house ever in my life. This has been a long, long three weeks and I'm just so happy to be here. All right, first order of things. It's 7 p.m. so uh, I'm going to bed. Hey, thanks for following along, guys. Good night.